Hey everyone, it's the Injury Bloke here, and today we're going to talk about pulled muscles. Wanted to clear up a little bit of something today. Uh, just there's a little bit of confusion sometimes when people give me a call, um, and they'll be saying that Marv, I think I've pulled a muscle. I don't think it's torn, but I think it's pulled. Now, pull and a tear are exactly the same things. The technical term is a strain, but effectively, you've torn a muscle to some degree. So tears uh, come in different grades. Um, I'm not gonna cover all that because it's, that's not what this video is about. Um, but what I will cover a little bit just to help clarify. So we'll take a grade one strain, grade one pull, grade one tear, Remember, it's all the same thing. So what that means is that you've torn up to around 25% of the muscle fibers in that particular muscle. So if we take some elastic bands, and you can imagine that here's our muscle. This could be any muscle in the body. For argument's sake, let's say it's our hamstrings because they seem to uh, like to pull a lot. So uh, hamstrings, so we're running along. So as we stride out, hamstrings lengthen. As the leg comes back, hamstrings shorten. Lengthen, shorten, lengthen, shorten, lengthen, shorten. Get the idea with that. So he says, so for a grade one, we'll have torn about 25%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut one of these bands in half which now means we've pulled, we've torn, we've strained 25% of the fibres. So now it looks a little something like that. There we go, and there's our dangly bit here. So what's going to happen with this here is we're going to develop some scar tissue which is going to knit this hole back together. This is just for demonstration purposes, by the way. It doesn't exactly look like this, but just to just to help clear things up. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get some scar tissue and I'm going to stick this injury back together. So here we are. Here's our here's our torn fibres, and you can see. Hopefully, you can see I've put a knot in there, and this is where they'll they'll have been a tear where the muscle would have ripped, torn, strained, and so now when we're running along. We've got this big, 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 we've got this bundle of scar tissue in the muscle just there. And that scar tissue no longer stretches like the rest of the muscle, no longer contracts like the rest of the muscle. In and around there, there'll be some spasm, some tightness. And one of the things people report a lot with, with muscles is that it still feels tight. It doesn't hurt anymore once the injury has healed, but it's, it feels tight when trying to run. One of the biggest risks to pulling a muscle is if you've pulled it before. And the reason is you've got this scar tissue. So it's li likely to go in and around where that scar tissue is because of this bit no longer stretches and no longer contracts the way that it used to. Also, you'll have spasm and tightening around that injury, so that's not gonna stretch and contract as it should, so then that could cause you to pull it yet again. So a lot of the time, people will return to activity because it's no longer hurting, but actually, they haven't addressed any of this uh, post-injury stuff, and uh, more than likely, it happens again. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, please do comment, like and subscribe and your comments down below, any requests for me to cover things, pop them down there and uh, I, do, I will read the comments and I will get round to, to um, covering some of your requests at some point. And please remember the main thing, my main goal with these videos is to bring you simple, basic 
usable information for the everyday person who's not got a, a qualification in anatomy and physiology. I'm trying to avoid using jargon and terminology. This is not for therapists to, for their education purposes, this is for the general public. So if, uh, if you need me to cover things, if I'm talking too much jargon, let me know and I'll try and stem it back even more. If you want anything a bit more complicated, I'm happy to do that as well, but that's not really the line I want to take just yet. Uh, lots of things coming. Me coming uh, we're going to be covering exercise. I'm going to be covering uh, sports-specific training, treatments, injuries, rehabilitation, all sorts of stuff. But any requests, please do pop them in the comments.